Hello everyone, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this bench press in front view in After Effects with the help of Twig Bezel plugin. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Ok, now let's jump on to After Effects and start with the rigging. So here, I'm going to select the reference layer which I have added for rigging and create it a shape layer from vector layer. And I'm going to delete this Illustrator file. Ok, now turn on Twig, click on rigging, click on this click create structures and create arm structures by clicking over here. Ok, I'm going to select all the structure layers and pull it and put it above the left arm. And let's solo the layers with the reference layer and I'm going to reposition the structure layers first. Ok, now I'm going to parent the forum with this forum structure layer, arm with arm structure layer and I'm going to select this hand and parent with hand structure layer and I'm going to select the structure layers and click on links and constraints, click on auto rig and it is going to rig the arm. Ok, now I'm going to select all these structure layers, turn off the visibility and turn on shy. Let's unsolo the layers and let's activate this shy. Let's unshy it once again. We are going to select this arm structure layer and parent it with this chest layer. So this arm structure layer will move with this chest. Alright. So let's turn it on. And we are going to repeat the process for the second arm as well. Okay, so now I'm going to select this wet layer and I'm going to add a null layer over here. I mean a null object and let's name it wet. Okay, let's move the anchor point and put it over here. And I'm going to put this at this, at this point. Yeah. So I'm going to parent this weight with this null object and I'm going to select all these do controllers of the hand and parent it with a weight illustrator layer. So when we move the null layer, everything moves together. So let's jump on to animation. But before that, let's delete this reference because we don't need it anymore. All right. Okay. Now. We are going to select this weight and let's pull it and put it above. And I'm going to open the position property, put a keyframe. And I'm going to pull it down over here. And after that, I'm going to jump on to, let's jump on to next 20 frames. Note that I'm in 30 frames per second right now. Okay. Now I'm going to pull it above. So we can separate the dimensions over here. We just need to delete the X axis as we are only working with Y axis. Okay. Now again, I'm going to jump on to next five frames and slightly bring it down to add some 
overshoot all right let's easy is it and let's check the animation okay we can tweak the graph a bit at this point we are going to ease it even more and at this particular points we are going to decrease the ease a bit so let's check our animation all right now i'm going to jump on to next 10 frames and simply copy this position and and paste it over here and i'm going to again jump on to the motion graph and slightly adjust the graph over here as well so i'm going to just make it something like this let's slide give an ease at this end but at this end i'm going to make it this kind of spike all right let's check our animation okay so we can simply add the loop expression and the whole thing will be in loop well yeah it's looking pretty nice so we can simply add a loop expression which is loop in plus loop out minus the value all right now we can even add some animation to the chest as well so open the position split the dimension and we are going to work with the y-axis so at this point uh and also put a keyframe at this point as well so at this point i'm going to bring the chest up a bit it is pumping up and at this point i'm going to bring it down and at this point i'm going to slightly bring it up and at this point i'm going to copy the initial position and select the keyframes and easy is it so copy the loop expression and paste it over here yeah it's looking even better so after that i'm going to add some motion to the head as well so i'm going to open the position split the dimensions put a keyframe on y-axis and over here as well at this point i'm going to bring it down slightly and at this point this is the perfect position at this point i'm going to slightly bring it down all right and at this point i'm going to copy the initial position and let's easy right and let's put the keyframes uh put uh, copy the loop expression and paste it over here all right so we can add some uh, follow through by adding some offset to the keyframes so i'm going to offset it by two frames so i'm going to offset the wet layer the chest layer from wet layer by two frames and from chest layer i'm going to offset this head by two frames to add a little bit of follow through okay what we can do is we can simply select this position and slightly bring it down and bring down the whole head position a bit okay now let's check it yeah this is looking better so that is how you can easily create a character animation in after effects even a bench press animation like this in just few minutes with the help of tweak bezier plugin so that is it for this lesson i would highly recommend you to try it on your own and let me know how it turned out so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye